Once you have your 3D lines in place, we can use the line list tool from PNID to place the inline valves and components in much the same way we added the lines. Let's add some valves now. Let's go ahead and open 0803 model. So here's the lines that we have from our previous model. I'm going to go ahead and close down this orphan fasteners. And I'm going to open up our link here. So I'm going to come up to our PNID line list. So we see the lines that we have placed here. Now we're going to add the valves onto these lines. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to open up our PNID just to take a look at the order. I'm going to zoom in on this area here. While when we look at the model, we do see the components that we have here. We do see that on this uh, four inch line 222, we have a check valve, a gate valve, and a globe valve. But if we actually look on the PNID and look at 222, it's not necessarily listed in the same order. So you always have to reference back to your PNID and make sure the components are placed in the right order. It won't check for the placement, it will only check to make sure that each component exists in the PNID and in the 3D model. So let's go ahead and start with our line 1000. So what we want to do is have a two inch gate valve on the two inch portion and then we want to have our six inch gate valve and check valve on the six inch line. So I'm going to come back across here and I'm going to look for my line 1000 which is right here and we want to place the gate valve first. So let's come across and highlight our gate valve. We're going to right click and we're going to place the item. I'm just going to drag and drop that into the model. I'm going to just grab the same thing with the check valve. I'm going to right click, place the item. And I'm going to come up to our two inch line segment and I'm going to take that two inch valve and place that on here too. So you'll see if I hover over that, it did bring over the tags as well. So we have an HA109, we have a 110, and we have a 114. Now don't worry about the question marks on these ones because we're working with concatenated models here inside the database. We're going to get these question marks, but we're not going to save them. When we're done at the end, we'll have a complete data set without duplicates. So we're going to erase all this when we're done this model. So don't worry about the question marks for now. So let's go ahead and quickly look at our PNID again. We're going to look at line number 222 and we're going to place the gate valve, check valve and the globe valve. So we'll look for line 222. We're going to come across and we're going to take the gate valve, the check valve and the globe valve. And again, just make sure that we've got the right tag numbers. We've got 108. 107 and 106. And we're just going to finish this off by taking the same thing. We'll place the gate valve on the 8 inch line, the check valve, and the ball valve. So you see how easy it is to build up. What we're actually doing is just using the information that was previously specced in the PNID, eliminate typing when we copy that information across into our 3D model. So let's go ahead and delete what we have here again so that we don't have those duplicate tags. And once again, we're ready to move on to our final video where we're actually going to do the validation.